Wesley's Prayer Apron. This is a powerful life story of Susanna Wesley who was married to a preacher. They had 19 children. All except 10 died in infancy of which two grew up to bring millions to Christ. That would be John and Charles Wesley. But just like any other home, behind the door of Susanna's home, hopeless conditions were normal. She married a man who could not manage money. They disagreed on everything from money to politics. Her husband Sam left her to raise the children alone for long periods of time. This was sometimes over something as simple as an argument. One of their children was crippled. Another couldn't talk until he was nearly six years old. Susanna herself was desperately sick most of her life. There was no money for food or anything. Debt plagued them. Sam was thrown into debtor's prison because of their debt was so high which doubled their problems. Twice the homes they lived in were burned to the ground losing everything they owned. It was assumed that their church member did it because of what Sam preached from the pulpit. Someone slit their cow's udders so that they wouldn't have milk, killed their dog and burned their flax field. When Susanna was young, she promised the Lord that every hour she spent in entertainment, she would give to him in prayer and in the word. Taking care of the house and raising so many kids made this commitment nearly impossible to fulfill. She had no time for entertainment or long hours in prayer. She worked the gardens, milked the cow, schooled the children and managed the entire house herself. So instead, she decided to give the Lord two hours a day in prayer. She struggled to find a secret place to get away with him. So she advised her children that when they saw her with her apron over her head, that meant she was in prayer and could not be disturbed. She was devoted to her walk with Christ, praying for her children and knowledge in the word no matter how hard life was. In the end, she knew that one day her hard life would be over and she alone would stand before the throne of God and give an account of how she lived her life. We can be the best mom, best wife, best friend, best person in the world and still have untold hardships. As equip her women, let us be mothers like Susanna, hidden behind the door of our homes, flip our apron over our head and pray diligently irrespective of how busy or how hard life's circumstances can be and let's be a blessing to many others.